Okay, so a very germane question that a lot of you yet to buy a boat people have is new boat versus old boat. Like, some of you are strong proponents of new boats, some of you are strong proponents of old boats. Well, we just spent the past week on a new boat on Unspoken with Mike and Lauren. And as you know, Jessica and I are going to be shopping for an old boat. So we've done most of our research towards old boats. So we kind of have a unique opportunity here to have a conversation about new boats versus old boats and kind of relay the information back to you guys to help you make your decision. This is just different, two different perspectives. We're going to be talking specifically about catamarans because all of our Jessica and Mai's research has been for catamarans and Mike's research was for catamarans. But a lot of these differences and pros and cons of each will be true for monoholes too. Uh, but we're talking catamarans just for this conversation. Yeah. With that being said, um, we kind of have two topics that we're going to try and cover. Uh, one is, for example, our boat is a Fontaine Peugeot Lucia 40, and uh, roughly you spend just under $500,000 for it as a new boat, a new vessel. So the, the first topic is um, $500,000 new, what does it get you? $500,000 used, what does it get you? Um, and then the second topic we're going to cover is a Lucia 40, so for example, a 40-foot catamaran new versus a 40-foot catamaran used, because um, I feel like it's Two, two topics essentially really, what it is right yeah agreed so obviously a new uh, catamaran comes out of the factory with everything on it for a used you probably wouldn't spend the entire five hundred thousand dollars on the boat you'd spend three hundred and fifty or four hundred and then you'd have a budget of 150 to you know a hundred thousand dollars to throw at the used boat to bring it up to par and so what's the differences between what right. you can get with those two budgets, right? Right, pros, pros and cons. So, I mean, you know, one of the advantages of buying a brand new boat is it comes with a warranty. So um, it's a big nut to pay for up front, but then at the same time for the next year or so, when something goes wrong, you gotta get uh, a sail drive is contaminated or anything like that, then that's covered under warranty. You still have the, you still have the headaches and the frustration of fixing things, because guess what, boat, whether it's new or used, you're fixing things, but you do have a little bit of cost savings there, so it's a catch-22. Yeah, so, so for those of you who have commented, like, why would you get a new boat if you still have to fix things? Well, but you don't have to pay to have those things fixed. Right. And that's a big difference because, obviously, if you buy a used boat, and put, you're going you're to have to put more time and more effort into a used boat. There's going to be more things to fix, and you're going to have to do it yourself or pay somebody to do it. Right. And all the parts are you're going to have to pay for. And if you think about it, if you buy a used boat and you want to completely gut out the electronics and put a completely new set of electronics in there, well when you bought the boat you technically paid for used electronics and then you have to pay for new electronics on top of that, so you're kind of paying twice. Right, versus on a new boat you essentially get to select your navigation equipment or your electronics from the get-go and, and put it in. So it's, there is definitely some pros and cons and, and it, it really comes down to you know, what are your needs on the boat and what can you handle? Are you handy or not? Yeah. Uh, things like that, for sure. Um, new boat versus used as well. One thing on the new that's a pro is uh, newer boats are going to have a little bit better technology, obviously. As, as years go by, all the boat manufacturers are, are coming up with uh, ways for the hulls to, to slice through the water a little bit more efficient or whether it's safer or lighter weight, things like that. So so we do see that on the, on the new boat. Yeah, and with a used boat, there's really not much you can do about hull shape and and the raking of the mast and stuff like that. So you have to choose a little bit more wisely, I guess. One other advantage on the on the new boat is layouts of the boats. So again, over the years, we can even see it within when uh, Lauren and I were debating on on boats. We looked at a Lapari 41 and then a Lucia 40, and the Lapari is the uh, uh, predecessor to Lucia 40 in the Fontaine Peugeot brand, and it's amazing the difference between the two just in layout. Same boat size, same beam, same length, same everything, but just a couple years go by and they figure out how to tweak a little bit more and get more square footage out of the space that's there. So layout is a big thing. Right. With a advantage of buying used from that point of view with layout is first of all, when you buy a used boat, say you buy a used three hundred fifty thousand dollar boat, it's probably going to be longer for the for the same same price boat new. So you'll have a little bit more room inside, but it won't have as an ideal of a layout, most likely. If you're up to it, the challenge, you can kind of rearrange the interior, move around some of the things, but you are still going to be limited by the overall constraints. So, um, And again, it depends how handy you are. Right? Yeah, and so, it definitely depends how handy you yeah. are. And even if you're handy, you're still looking at time spent to do right. the repairs or the, the modifications. Yeah. So another consideration when you're debating between new and used. So for Lauren and I, we are a little bit more OCD and we like to 
just know where the boat's been and things like that. So as a new boat, you know what you get from the beginning because you did take the boat out of the factory. And so um, you know where it's been, how it's been sailed, how it's been treated, and more importantly, you know the service log. You know what the engines have been maintained, the strainers, uh, whether it's ever had any hull damage. I mean, you just know everything about the boat. So that's, that's definitely a perk for the new. Mm -hmm. With the old, especially if you're trying to, like for us, we're looking at potentially getting a, a X charter and then we're gonna convert it to be how we want it. There's so much that's happened to the boat in the 10 years that before of its life, before it met you, that you're, you're just there's no possible way to know everything the boat's been through. You obviously, get a good survey before you buy it, but then the, if, if survey misses things, there's the potential for some hidden problems. So yeah, for sure. there's just the there's much more of an element of the unknown with regards to a, getting a used boat. But at the same time, a used boat also means that it's been sailed and tried and true. So. You know, we're finding stuff out. It's a new boat, and there's there's things that um, that we're finding out just because it's a new a new boat. Right. So you're always shaking it down. And that's part of the iteration. This is uh, one of the benefits of a used boat is that it's been around for a while. So if there are problems, there's generally solutions to them. Right. Um, and if there, there might be tips and tricks on how to like maximize for some of the newer boats with the newer holes. Yeah. You know, they they have to iterate on them more. So you were saying something about hole numbers. That's a really good point. So with um. With a new hole, like definitely my advice would be if you're buying a, a new boat and it's a new model for a brand, I would definitely not be one of the first few holes. While it might be exciting to be the first one at the docks, it also means you're the first one shaking down some of the issues. Uh, a boat has so many moving pieces between, you know, the electronics has to, to work with the navigation, the plumbing has to work with all that, the hole has to be able to fit it all in. I mean, there's just so many moving pieces that there's too many things that you don't know regardless of design or regardless of computer software until you actually get out there and start sailing it and you find out, oh look, this traveler should move a couple inches this way or whatever. I mean, it's just some, some things are really silly, but it makes a big difference for comfort when you're on the boat. So. Right. Another thing to weigh between the two for boats is customization. New boats can be customized while they're building them in the factory. A lot of the newer, yeah, a lot of the, a lot of the new, the boat builders are more than happy to make customizations okay. to the boat for you. You but just gotta pay for it. It's gonna pay, and yeah. there's also time. It's gonna take extra time potentially to, to do these things. So you can definitely have customized new boat if you got the budget. With an old boat, you can also customize things within. Maybe you have a little bit more of a constraint around it because there's kind of some some hard bounds with the whole design and, and shapes of things but one of the nice things about customizing a used boat is you can do it over time we can buy a big used cat and then every month tweak something and upgrade something and do it over time so the cash outlay is a little bit more gradual than with a new boat where all the customization really needs to be done before it leaves the factory right. i mean you can add stuff later on to the boat and we have but realistically it's more just cosmetic upgrades or, or small things, not actual layouts or right. real, what I, I wouldn't really call it customizing the boat, I would call it personalizing the boat. Right, yeah, that's yeah. point. Uh, another thing about boats that can be kind of beneficial is especially if you get them around 10 years old, they've more or less finished depreciating. So the yeah. value of your boat is gonna more or less hover, um, especially if you take care of it and maybe make some improvements to it. You don't have to worry about year after year the value of your boat kind of. Right. Versus for sure on a new boat. I mean, the minute we took it out of the factory and it got splashed in the water, boom, money's gone right away. You just take an immediate hit. And uh, so that's something you have to consider as well. So there's definitely pros and cons. Yeah. And then lastly, and I kind of mentioned this briefly already, but with a used boat for this price range, you're definitely going to get a bigger boat right. than you would for something new. It can be from five feet to 10 feet longer, really. So if, if, if space is more important to you than newness, then this is probably going to be actually a pretty big consideration right. um, in, in your decision making. So we're obviously both in a different scenario here. And um, so Lauren and I have already purchased the, the new boat, a new 40 footer. And so I guess this leads us into our second topic, which is a 40 foot new boat versus a 40 foot used boat. Because if you get a new boat, you gotta potentially save up a little longer. Right. Um, first, if you buy a used boat. Right. So this is in this scenario, it's like maybe you know a forty foot boat is pretty much perfect for you right. and, and your your other person, and so that's that's your goal. But the question is, should I save? Yeah, should I save more for the new boat, or can we get started sooner with a right. used boat? Do you spend five hundred thousand dollars for the new boat, or potentially two fifty, three hundred for and throw another fifty for a used on top boat? Of it. Right. Right. So. So the differences here are going to be similar to having the, the budget conversation, but when you're constraining yourself to a used 40 foot boat, as we're talking about, the layouts have gotten better over time. So if you get a 10 year old boat, it's 
less likely to have an optimal layout, like the newer boats. Seems they've optimized the heck out of the layout. Especially when you're looking at a 40 size 40 footer, it seems like it's even more important. When you got a 44, or 46, or you know even bigger, obviously you, you have so yeah you, you have so much room to play with that even if the layout isn't perfect, like they still they can still fit a lot. Versus a 40 footer, you know you've got you do run out of space at one point. So I think the the layout in a 40 is really important. Um, a 44 maybe you've got a little bit of flexibility. Yeah, I've definitely noticed when I've been looking at some of the older lagoons, Lagoon 410, Lagoon 400 that there seem to be spaces built into it where there's just kind of dead spaces. Right. Like, and I'm like, why can't you just cut a hole there and make an extra cubby? And the newer boats, they've taken care of a lot of those problems. Right. So if you buy a used boat, you're definitely going to have to put more time into it. Now, you can do the time, even if you're handy yourself, it might take you 10 hours to make a repair, whereas somebody who's trained and does it as their job might do it in four hours. It might take me 40 hours to do the repair because I'm horribly not handy at all whatsoever. And, and Depending on how you're using your boat, that could be a huge deal. That could be a deal breaker if you had to put that much time into the boat. Right. So I think I think that's definitely a pro and a con. I mean, for for us on the on for Lauren and I, because we're not liveaboards and we do have jobs. When we when we do um, sail the boat, we want to be able to get on it and go pretty quickly. So there's times where, where if we're going to spend a lot of time fixing things, you quickly lose your weekend, or if you can do a week trail, a week trip, uh, you quickly lose it fixing stuff on the boat. So I do like the fact that I can get some of that stuff covered in the warranty, and again, by also knowing my limitations, and you have to be honest with yourself, if you're not very handy, don't start a project that you're going to find out it's going to cost you a lot more money having to pay somebody to come back and fix your mistakes as well. So. Yeah, and if you're going to be living on the boat, and I think this it depends on how what you're going to use your boat exactly. for. If you're only going to do weekends or weeks or a month here and there, buying a new boat should be something you strongly consider, but if you're going to be living on it full time, then it's okay if it takes you an extra week to get a, a project done. Um, so Because you're not sailing to a schedule. Yeah, exactly. Versus we find ourselves sailing to a schedule a lot more. Yep. And uh, another potentially a benefit of getting a used boat is that you might be able to find ones that are already outfitted. People mm -hmm. have been using them for liveaboard cruising, so you can find some that have the amenities built in. People have already kind of iterated upon the, uh, you know, maximizing their comfort aboard. Right. So more, more water makers, solar panels, things yeah. like that. Versus on the new, you're still having to spend a little bit more money after the fact to outfit some of those items that you need. Right. The kinks will have been worked out of the old ones. Right. Theoretically. Even silly things like boat fenders and lines. I mean, that stuff doesn't sound like it's a big thing because you're spending a lot of money on the boat. But after you spent that much money on the boat, and then you have to go buy lines, and then you have to go buy, you know, dock lines and fenders, and that stuff adds up fast. And right. a couple thousand dollars. And that hurts when after you've, you've already spent a lot of money on the boat. Whereas a boat that's been cruising will likely have all the things it needs to have done cruising because it's clearly been doing it successfully until that point. Another potentially a benefit about getting a used boat is that they're with a, with a new boat they all come from the factory, mm -hmm. and when they come from the factory, you got to get the boat to where you want it to be. With used boats, there's more of a likelihood that you can find something closer to home that's been that's that's. So like if I bought a Lagoon 400, I know I could find some in the Caribbean. I know I could find some in Europe. Right. And so that's a cost savings because you're not paying for shipping or a captain to bring it across. For example, our boat came from France and we had it delivered to Fort Lauderdale. So we had to pay a captain to bring it across and that takes time. And also it's a new boat. So the waiting time, for example, on our boat right now, if you were to order Lucia 40 today, I think you're waiting till May of 2018. And we're currently in February of 2017. So it's, I mean, it's a year and year and a couple months uh, after you sign the contract, pony up a lot of money, and then you have to sit there and wait. <laughs> so right. that, that waiting game is the, yeah, it's, it's the, no fun. It's definitely delayed gratification. Yeah, satis it is. Yeah, gratif satisfic satis gratif delayed satisfaction. Delayed gratification. Delayed, yeah, something. <laughs> <laughs> delayed happiness. <laughs> You're just sitting there waiting and waiting and waiting. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. So it's definitely something to consider. Now, it, it sort of seems like we're uh, leaning more towards, like, from this point of view, like, oh, the benefits of use, but you gotta keep in mind that the cost savings, the time savings, the warranty, those are all very, and the and better interior layout, so you, it's almost that you get more for your boat if you get a newer boat. Because, in a way, yeah. Because they, they better maximize how to move around the boat and storage and stuff like that. So kind of the takeaway for, for what we're debating here versus new versus used, it really depends on you as the audience and you're the one boat shopping and you know what your needs are. So you have to be honest with yourself and ask yourself, what do you need out of a boat? Is timeline something you're worried about? Um, your budget, um, how handy are you? Um, you just, all these variables matter. Uh, for Lauren and I, 
it made sense for us to buy new because we're not trying to be level boards and we're in a position where um, we wanted the practicality of new and not having to deal with uh, always repairing things and fixing things. So we wanted the warranty uh, and that makes our life a little bit more comfortable for being able to basically kind of sail away a little quicker, if that makes sense, on a, on a more regular basis versus versus the use. So, you know, what's, what's your use takeaway? Yeah, for, for us used, A, the cost savings is huge, B, we're pretty handy and uh, we're not afraid to tackle projects that might take a long time and C, it's really practical for us to be able to upgrade over time um, because I, I think we won't necessarily be happy with a used boat as it comes. We're definitely going to put a lot of work into it. And a matter of fact, we just saw a potential boat model that we like. We went over and visited in the marina and as I walked on board, I kind of almost felt overwhelmed. Like if this was my boat and I was going to have it, the amount of work that I would have to do to make it to where I wanted it is going to be a boatload of work. <laughs> But like, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's. Um, but again, you guys are going to be liveaboards boards, and yeah. you've got time to do that. Versus for us, if I was to pick up that boat and still maintain a full time job and still trying to keep up with everything and spend time on the boat, suddenly it's going to feel like just a daunting project at the marina or in the boatyard, and then I'm not going to be enjoying it as much. Yeah. So it really comes down to what do you need, and you have to ask yourself all these questions. Yeah, be honest with yourself. Like yeah. I said. Yep. That's it for this video. Yeah, subscribe. I'll put a link here for Mike's channel. They are Sailing Unspoken and obviously our channel here. Please like if you like, subscribe to both of us if you like, and yeah, let us know what you think um, and if we missed anything that you should consider between the you know new versus used. Awesome. See ya.